Hello and a very warm welcome to you all. I'm Vikas Nangya with Focus Live Season 4. Ladies and gentlemen, today on the program we have with us a very special guest who has uh, come from New Delhi and at present he's in New Jersey. He's on a 12-city tour and he will be talking about his latest book. Now what the book is all about, of course, we'll discover during the conversation. But let me just tell you he's a renowned author, a TEDx speaker and a political analyst. Earlier, Although he's authored about six books, but this book that he's touring for is a sequel. Now, the book which was written earlier, about in 2017, I have a copy of that in my hand. The book is called as The Monk Who Became Chief Minister. And the book for which he's uh, very much here in the country uh, to, to talk about, to do an outreach effort, to put the word out for, of course, the present Chief Minister, Yogi Adityanath, who's the... Uh, who's the man who's creating too much buzz because of the UP elections. Uh, the book is called as The Monk Who Transformed Uttar Pradesh. My guest on the program is Shantanu Gupta. Shantanu ji, thank you so very much for joining us uh, for Focus Live Season 4. Uh, because thank you for having me and uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this also happens to be a special episode because we've got some members, prominent members of our community who join us um, for this special program. We've got members from Om Kriya Yoga. We've got uh, individuals from World NRI Association, Vishwa Hindu Parishad of America, and many other uh, institutions. Shantanu, thanks again for joining us. And uh, first of all, uh, since you're kicking off your tour from New Jersey, so all the very best. Uh, New Jersey, jo hai na, baut shubh hai. Bollywood actors ke liye ho, neta ho ya bhi neta, New Jersey se hi uski shurwaad hoti hai. To uska ek fayda ye hota hai, ke agar shurwaad achhi ho jati hai, to baaki shahero me jab pahunchte hai, it has created already enough buzz and impact ke bhai ye New Jersey se ho ke aare hai. You know, jaysay agar aap Naidilli se ho kar ke aare hai, baaki rajyo me jaare hai. So that, that, uh, that's the, you know, uh, impact of uh, having a kick-off uh, in New Jersey and especially right here in uh, TV Asia Studios because, uh, you know, the, the viewers are watching this across North America. So congratulations to you uh, for the book, uh, The Monk Who Transformed Uttar Pradesh. And uh, I would like to ask you the first question, that when you wrote the first book before that, this is the sequel, and at that time you wrote The Monk Who Became Chief Minister. Look, I can understand that you have used the monk to the monk. अब देखिए कौन कह सकता था कि जब साधु के बारे में हम बात करेंगे तो हम शायद अध्यात्म के बारे में करेंगे किसने सोचा था कि हम साधु को लेकर के राजनीति के बारे में बात करेंगे सो फॉर द सीक्वल व्हाई डिड यू स्टिल स्टिक टू द वर्ड मंक व्हाई डू यू चेंज इट टू द चीफ मिनिस्टर हु ट्रांसफॉर्म उत्तर प्रदेश बिकॉज बाई आई थिंक थिंक मंक इज इज प्राइमरी आइडेंटिटी राइट सो and chief minister is a role given to him by the party and the people so yeah that's why i use the term the monk who transformed uttar pradesh and when i use the word monk that saint adds a separate value to the governance log kehte hain ki bhai unko to paadon mein chala jana chahiye unko to unko to sanyas le liya hai wo rajneeti ka anand kyun le rahe hain right and if you ask the question to the man he normally says that when i was in gorakhpur as a member of parliament Right? I used to serve an area, right? And now I have a bigger canvas to serve. I have whole Uttar Pradesh to serve. So for, polit for him, politics is not something that you enjoy. Politics for him is a liver to help people, to serve people, right? I'll give you an example. And it's a very political example. And which maybe anybody can be good in governance, but the example, one or two examples I'm going to give you because by I think only saint, a saint can add those values. So the first file that came to him, and you'll love this example. The file came to him, his officer says, this is the file. He said, okay, what is this? I said, which luxury car should we, should, should we buy for you? So he said, why do I need a luxury car? The boss says, uh, Yogi Ji says, uh, so that's the trend. When Mayavati came in 2007, she made us buy a land cruiser, which costed at one and a half crore rupees, Indian rupees, right? And the, bulletproofing and all of that. He said, okay. And when Akhilesh Yadav came in 2012, he made us buy two Mercedes SUVs that costed almost seven crore rupees to the exchequer. He said, what happened to those old vehicles? He said, they're available. So why, why, why are we not using them? The officers told, that's the tradition, that new CM come with a new luxury car. That's the tradition. 
he said he, he almost got annoyed he said i am not i i did not become the chief minister to buy new luxury cars on taxpayers money but i'll also make you sp so first of all he said use the old cars he almost threw the file right but he said i also i will also make you buy uh, uh, make you a small expense so officers asked why what so he said okay mayavati ji uh, made you spend 1 and 1/2 crore rupees akhilesh yadav made you spend 7 crore rupees i'll make you spend 200 rupees so what's that buy a saffron current towel and put on the seat where i'll sit and there'll be a reminder for me me that this is a seat of sacrifice because saffron is the color of sacrifice there'll be a reminder constant reminder to me that that's a seat of sacrifice and i'm here to serve people not to enjoy luxury cars and this only can come from a saint right example number 2 if you know he's never being a minister he's a five time member of parliament but he's never being a minister neither in atal bihari vajpay government nor neither in modi government so administration why this is the first time for him right but he has a good understanding of government system because he's he's an mp from uh, almost 19 years so what he did because by he read the budgets of last like decade or so because if you don't have a budget to a scheme that scheme doesn't exist right it's only a promise so he he went on the budget by budget year by year and he was quite surprised by the line entry hindi mein us bolte mad ek mad ko dekh ke he was a little surprised income tax payment for chief minister and ministers of up he said income tax payment why are we paying income tax of chief ministers he was not little clear then his officers told told him that vp singh ji jo mukhyamantri the aapko pata hai vp singh ji hamare prime minister the wo mukhyamantri bhi rahe up ke so he got the law passed that the income tax of chief minister of up and ministers of up will be paid by the up government for some bizarre reason and no one touched that law Akhilesh Yadav, who declares 40 crore as his income in his, his, his papers, he never changed it. Mayawati, who uh, declares his income as crores or rupees, she never changed it. He said, "What is this stupid law? From my lowest of the employees to my senior most employees, they all pay tax. My all people of Uttar Pradesh pay tax. Why I can't pay tax? Why my ministers can't pay tax? And a 40 years old little bizarre law he struck down in just one, one piece of stroke. Something I have multiple such examples there." and this sanctity right this proprietary in in political behavior can come only from a saint that's why i'm very particular that the monkhood the monkness that is being that is being part of up's administration last 5 years and that is being i think signature signature element of up's governance in last 5 years you know you mentioned about the saffron towel uh, just a little while ago in the conversation you said unno bola meri kursi pe rakh dijiyega matlab meri kursi color change kar dijiye uska jisse mujhe rupaye ka toliya leke aap meri kursi pe rakh dijiyega now the saffron color obviously it's it's peace uh, that's what it is all about um but at the same time it has always it has also be, become um the topic of conversation because they've seen yogi ji always in saffron and uh, you know that many individuals also feel that leads to polarization what would you say see i think uh, let's spend like why he wears saffron so he's a sanyasi like he's not wearing uh, the saffron color just like a ki monday ko blue pehante hain aur tuesday ko neela pehante hain right so uh, he is a sanyasi when he was 22 uh, he was adjusting best in uttarakhand and if in my previous book you can find his pictures in aviators in jeans in bandana like he was like a normal 21 22 year old college going kid right and he had a will and such determination that at that age he decided that he is going to take sanyas and if you know the sanyas parampara of india of sanatan dharma यू डू योर ओन पिंडदान आप अपने पिछले जीवन को मार देते हैं अपने पिछले रिश्ते संबंध नातों को मार देते हैं अपने पिछले नाम को भी मार देते हैं तो ही इज नो मोर अजेसिंग बेस्ट इन फैक्ट इन इज पेपर्स इन इज इलेक्शन पेपर्स ही राइट हिज फादर्स नेम इज महन तबैदनाथ जो उनके गुरु हैं उनके गुरु अपने जो बायोलॉजिकल फादर हैं अनंत सिंह बिस्ट उनका नाम नहीं लिखते हैं राइट सो ही एंड जिस परम्परा से वो आते हैं गोरखनाथ परम्परा वो आदिनाथ शिवा की परम्परा है आदिनाथ शिवा एंड योगी आदित्यनाथ सो उस परम्परा के वाहक हैं वो सो एंड it's like a very profound sanatani mat right so he's a practicing saint aur jo akhil bharatiya nath sampradaya hai the all india nath sampradaya he's heading that from years from from two decades so he's a practicing monk nath, nath uh, sampradaya ek bahut good sampradaya hai aur agar aap dekhiye ye kaan mein kundal pehnte hain wo it's not in the this down lobe it's like in the in the, in the middle lobe middle lobe yeah and that's a that's a procedure unko bolte hain kanfate sadhu 
and uh, and i have seen that procedure happening is a little tricky and dangerous like not dangerous like little, little, little harsh so they drop some uh, i think mustard oil in, in you and there's a piercing thing and this this piercer yeah. and while it's it's happening it's oh, it's okay you're not ready like you're still i think in in, in love with your body mm. right so it is a harsh practice right so he has passed with this practice and you graduate so in the starting you with the wooden one and then the ivory one and i think once you graduate in practice then only you can sport a, a gold one right so he's a practicing monk uh, and that's why he wears a saffron now coming saffron saffron also leads to polarization i think that's a very modern commentary mm. right a uh, chatrapati shivaji uh, when when moguls were ruling us he made us realize that what is bhagwa what is uh, swaraj and he's carrying that flag Uh, but yeah, in modern polity, lot of political parties try to portray that uh, saffron means division, and there are two colors: one is saffron, one is green. But I think now we have seen after 2014, uh, when Narendra Modi came on board and uh, chief ministers like Yogi Adityanath came on board, and their deliverance of the schemes, which is sabka saath, sabka vikas, is without any uh, difference. So if a road is being paid, right, both are riding over it. if the houses are being made it's for everyone if the electricity is coming which was like 12 hours 13 hours earlier now 22 hours 24 hours it's coming for everyone it's not that it's coming in your house it's not ki ram ke ghar mein aayegi aur rehim ke ghar mein nahi aayegi it's not that so i think that commentary is now dilute, diluting fast even in india uh, and which was a i think very lazy style of politics earlier that you divide people and somehow try to get the vote bank I think now the Indian polity has graduated and further graduate. Uh, well, I think years to come. That's the perspective that I draw from you, but the people's perspective on ground is very different. The way I'm seeing the campaigning, the the way UP elections are shaping up, you know, it's all shaping up mostly around Jats and Hindus and Muslims. You know, you know that it's been religion-based politics. So I'll get on to that as the conversation progresses. But I wanted to get some snapshot from you. Um, you know, about the first book that you wrote about the monk who became chief minister. I wanted to ask you what really. I mean, you had written the book about BJP, past, present, and the future. You've you've written a book in Hindi about um, um, uh, Uttar Pradesh, Vikas ki pratiksha mein. तो ऑब्वियसली इट शोज दैट यू आर इन लव विद उत्तर प्रदेश एंड यू आर ऑल्सो इन लव विद भारतीय जनता पार्टी उत्तर प्रदेश ऑफ कोर्स दैट बींग योर होम टाउन यूर बॉर्न इन बरेली तो वो तो समझ आता है मेरे को लेकिन uh, ये कि तमाम नेताओं के बीच में यू नो इफ इट हैज़ टू बी बीजेपी लेट्स से और एनी अदर पोलिटिकल लीडर वाई योगी आदित्यनाथ दैट यू बिकेम अ बायोग्राफ ऑफ रहम यू नो इमीजिएटली ही बिकेम द चीफ मिनिस्टर आई अंडरस्टैंड द फर्स्ट बुक केम विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स यू लिटरली अलॉन्ग विद योर टीम you know hunted out pretty much everything you went to his village i was uh, you know uh, 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 reading a bit about the book and how the in depth research that you did you know you met his teachers mentors friends relatives parents everybody to put together but the question is why yogi adityanath it could be that why not but i'm saying why yogi adityanath i think because by first i should commend you i think uh, the, the the kind of research you have put in on my work that's commendable i'm feeling hum dono ka kaam yahi hai na like i think you you know about my previous books you know what i have researched i'm saying yeah commendable commendable literally uh, so, so so why yogi itna a lot of people ask me so my previous book uh, uttar pradesh vikas ki pratiksha mein and blooms only did the book that was on that up is waiting for development yeah. right and that was a commentary on the lackluster governance of mayawati mulayam and akhilesh right and i filed multiple rtis right to information uh, to dig that uh, dig that information out uh, and that book came during the 2017 elections the previous elections and i was going town to town in up as you told i'm i'm uh, born in bareilly uh, in in up i was going town to town and i i was witness to couple of his rallies in 2017 and he was not a chief minister candidate if you know but he was one of the star pracharaks right correct correct because he has one uh, you know he'd been a long time parliamentarian so. he he was a five time parliamentarian for gorakhpur and he is a good orator so he was being sent and he, i while i was uh, doing book launches in multiple cities in up as i'm doing in us now uh, i heard him i heard him lot of uh, heard him lot of rallies and speeches right and i got intrigued that okay what i read in english media what i read in international media about him is like 99% negative someone who won five time parliament election how come the coverage on him is 99% negative right the something must be good in him in fact in 2004 and 2009 vikas bhai when bjp did very bad he won with exponential margins his seat right uh, 
Correct. So this must be something good. So I got intrigued and when he became chief minister, that was almost blessing in disguise that, oh my God, I should write about him. And because he's popular, he's a little intriguing, a lot of people don't know about him. Some of the speeches are, uh, some of the like little uh, speeches given in a electorally charged environment were, became his identity. So I think, let me uh, unshackle it, let me unravel it, and that's why I got intrigued and I, th I should write about him, yeah. Mm. So, um, before I get, in, in, in a, get into the first break of the programs, keeping it in, in continuation to what we are talking right now, a momentum, I also wanted to ask you that, from first book to second book, what are some of the key things that you have highlighted? And I'm asking this question because, look, there's a saying that the king is the king, the king is the king. Yogi Ji, as a hardliner, has disciplined hard life, has uh, disciplined life, so the king has changed his king, his mantra, his uh, key subordinates, and in the first book, in the second 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 book, in the book, is a biography, right? About him, right. and it, I, yeah. It, it, gave, it walks us through his entire journey, journey uh, it, right. it, it talks about the, as much as I've, I've read the yeah. synopsis, I think it takes us from his, um, you know, from his childhood, childhood. to youthful years, to, yeah. uh, you know, his adulthood, basically. Yeah. So, uh, the first book is divided into four sections. He being Ajay Singh Bist, uh, born in Panchur village, then his college, then how he became saint. Like, how do they take the sannyas? A 22-year-old guy who wears jeans, wears a jashma, wears a goggle, wears a group, wears a guitar, 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 wears a guitar. Like, we had our... Just a normal college student hanging out. What happens in 21 years, when he goes to Uttarakhand for 15-20 years, he goes to Gorakhpur and takes so much aesthetic, so much cut-in and cut-in and cut-in. So, that's his theory. And then, his life as a saint, his life as a parliamentarian, that's his 19 years as a parliamentarian, amazing record as a parliamentarian. In fact, I, I've compared him with Rahul Gandhi uh, in 16th Lok Sabha. So, the now we're going to 17th Lok Sabha. Correct. The first time 16th Lok Sabha, thi, that was the last time he was a parliamentarian. His attendance was 84%, Rahul Gandhi's attendance was 45%. He, the number of questions he asked till then was 300. Rahul Gandhi asked zero questions. Uh, the number of debates he participated in was 57. Rahul Gandhi participated in some seven debates. He presented three private member bills. Rahul Gandhi presented zero private member bills. And mind you, he's from BJP. So he's asking more questions to BJP than Rahul Gandhi, who should be asking more questions to BJP, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the point is, point is that he's a very engaging uh, parliamentarian, right? So that's the commentary in, in, in the previous book. And I just touch upon his initial two, three months as chief minister. And this book graduates what exactly he did in those five years. What he did in roads, what he did in education, what he did in health, what he did in culture, and what he added to the discipline of governance. That's most important. As I told you, those couple of examples of buying cars and striking off income tax payment by government and multiple such examples, right? So that's how the, 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 the first and two parts are connected together. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick short break over here. On the other side of the break, we'll continue our conversation with Shantanu Gupta. एक छोटे से अंतराल के बाद आप सभी दर्शकों का एक बार फिर से बहुत बहुत स्वागत मैं हूं विकास नांगिया आज फोकस लाइव में बातचीत हो रही है रेनाउंड ऑथर टेरेक्स स्पीकर और पॉलिटिकल एनालिस्ट शांतनु गुप्ता जी के साथ शांतनु वंस अगेन वेलकम टू फोकस लाइव सीजन फोर you know, the way you were uh, giving me the analysis, you being the political analyst, uh, so you were breaking it down, the comparison between uh, Rahul Gandhi and um, uh, Yogi Adityanath Ji. So it kind of gives me a feel that this book that I have in my hand, it's more or less like a report card. You know, it talks about, as in, I was looking at some of the chapters of the book as well, where you are telling us what kind of things have happened. So this book more or less looks to me like a report card. Is that true? Yeah, I is think... It, is that a good observation, a good way to say it? Yeah, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I think it is. So that's the transition that previous book was on him, that who is he, and this book, what he has done in five years, in different things. And report card means what they promised and what they delivered, right? right? So let's say a small example. So they promised 24 hours of electricity. And 24 hours of electricity sitting in New Jersey looks like, okay, what's that? But in UP was getting, in villages, 12 hours, 13 hours a day of electricity. And they promised 20 hours in villages, 22 hours in tehsils, and 24 hours in headquarters, right? They did not reach that, but they reached 23.5 hours, 
right? They reached 20, 21.3 hours in tehsils and almost 18.2 uh, to 18.5 hours in uh, villages, right? So whatever they promised and what they delivered, I just did the comparison. Now it's for the readers to decide how, how, how they want to judge the man. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point of time, we'll also now open the studio floor. We'll take some questions from our guests over here. Um, um, can we have uh, the first uh, guest to ask the question? Please introduce yourself and ask the question to Shantanu Gupta. Hello, Shantanu. Welcome to New Jersey. Uh, my name is Srinivas. I have one question. Uh, how do you see Yogi Aitanaj as a future Prime Minister of Bharat? Uh, because by, if I can take my previous book and if I read the back cover of the book, uh, which I wrote in 2017, like when I didn't even know that how will he, how will he perform. And if you allow me to read that uh, first line, a state with 22 crore people and 80 Lok Sabha seat is one of the very crucial political pieces in India's electoral puzzle. That's Uttar Pradesh. With a history of producing many prime minister for the country, Uttar Pradesh has given yet another prospect for the prime minister office, but in post-Modi era. Uh, what is the post-Modi era? Only Narendra Modi can decide. Uh, he has led BJP where it is on the heights. But again, when in the post-Modi era, era, there are a couple of people who will be having a political CV uh, in BJP uh, who can strive for the position. And certainly, Yogi Tanath will be one of them. Why I say so? Because uh, just look at CV, right? I like him. Uh, I've written about him. Just, just leave that apart. He's being five-time member of parliament for 19 years, right? He has asked, and he's a very engaging parliament parliamentarian. Means his attendance, his number of questions he asked, uh, number of debates he participated in, number one, right? That's uh, point number one in CV. He has won five Lok Sabha elections, right? With exponential margin. When BJP is doing bad, even then he's doing good, number two. Number th three, he's extremely popular, right? He's electorally relevant. He's not that, okay, he's a good administrator, but he's electorally relevant. Even in a Hyderabad municipal election, even in a Karnataka election, uh, where people may not even follow him as Hindi, there are crowds of three to four lakh people. So he's electorally popular from north to south, east to west, United States of America, I'm doing a 13 uh, city tour. I have to drop many cities, right? A lot of people saying, can we do in Vegas? Can we do in Phoenix? So across the world, he's a popular person. And politically, you have to be popular finally in an electoral battle, right? And in these five years, he has shown his governance also. I doubt across political parties, there'll be anyone, and he, after doing all of this, because he's only 48, and 48 is young, like Rahul Gandhi is young in 50, so 48 is certainly young, right? Yeah. Uh, so he has done all of this, and he's only 48. And, and to my understanding, and all pollsters are saying, he will be the, the chief minister again in 2022, and if he completes the third term, so he being a chief minister of a state like Uttar Pradesh, which is population-wise the fifth, sixth largest country in the world, if it were to be a separate country, uh, he being a chief minister of that, he being a parliamentarian for 19 years, and he'll be how much? 53, 54? Which is a huge uh, CV, right? So on uh, basis of that, I just make a, make, make a commentary. There, there are multiple other people who, who, who pass the cut, but he's certainly one of them. Uh, so let me, before I reach out to another audience member to ask you a question, I wanted to ask you that... That's your analysis as a political analyst um, and, and someone who's known Yogi Dityanath closely. Um, but what's the perception of the party leaders? You see, uh, we've seen the leaders in a coupled format. That we've seen individuals who are backed by their you know, party teammates, I would say. Like, um, I, people often talk about Modi ji ko Amit Shah ji ka saath hai. Yogi ji ko kis ka saath hai? In fact, that's a very pertinent question. In 2017 or 18, I, I, I'm not able to recollect, I wrote a piece in Indian Express, a very famous newspaper in India. And this piece became very popular. I did a comparison, which is a little tricky comparison, between Narendra Modi and Yogi Adhanath, right. right? And the title was for Yogi the Modi model. Mm. And I will just tell the four differences I wrote, and exactly one of this is this, right? So one is that they're very similar. Uh, so they have a very disciplined lifestyle. One gets up at 3.45, one gets up at 4 o'clock. They, uh, they are electorally relevant, they are popular. You can't put a speck on nepotism then. You don't even know their family, like where do they live, who are they. Uh, they, they live a very disciplined, for them, it's social work, social work, social work. There's no chutti. Chutti mein bhi Modi ji sainikon ke paas le jate. Ye chutti mein koi, koi Durga Maa ki puja karne chale jate. That's their only chutti, right? So very 
for them, politics is 24 by 7. They're not flirting with politics, right? They're, they're full-time politicians, right? That's one. The differences are, one is when Narin Modi became the chief minister, the Gujarat was not in very bad shape, right? Gujarat was a developing state, the economy was decent. There were some, like, some issues, some plague issues, some, some issues, but he made a good Gujarat a better Gujarat or best Gujarat, right? But for Yogi Adinath, there was no low-hanging low fruits. Like, he was, he was preceded by the kinds of Akhilesh Yadav, Mulayam Singh Yadav, Mahavati, casteist politics, all of that. So there was no low-hanging fruits for him, number one. Number two, and which can be not, not controversial, but a little tricky, he's not a typical BJP karakarta, right? He, the first time he becomes a politician, he becomes a member of parliament. Versus Narendra Modi, who is being a BJP karakarta from like for almost two decades before he becomes the chief minister of Gujarat, right? So his coupling with BJP is not as strong as he's never being a booth adhyaksh or a mandal adhyaksh or a jilla adhyaksh or a state president. He has not like uh, uh, went through a party cadre, right? But having said that, he has a huge coupling with member of parliament from the last 20 years. Like he learned his politics from the likes of Atul Bihari Vajpayee, Lal Krishna Advani, Pramod Mahajan, Sushma Swaraj. So he's learned his politics from them. And one more thing that Currently, he does not have a lot of non-party, non-government teams around him, right? Let's say Narendra Modi developed someone like, someone like Prashant Kishore, right? Prashant Kishore is developed by him, right, so to say. The whole stream of political analysts or electoral analysts, right? Uh, so Narendra Modi had a lot of this non-political, means non-BJP, non-bureaucrat teams, right? Which he, he has a mastery to use their abilities, right? He's, he's maybe he'll also learn uh, 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 at some point, right? So these are the... I think differences. I think in the in, in my in my process, I lost the original question that you asked. So the original, obviously, wh who would you say is his teammate in the party? Ah, yeah. You know? so, 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 so the couple, the political couple. So correct. So let's say for Atal Bihari Vajpayee, there was a Lal Krishna Advani, right? For for uh, Narendra Modi, there is Amit Shah, who can take the cover fire. Maybe who can do the if I can use the word dirty job, right? Like in, there are a lot of politicking required for someone to 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 move up, right? I don't see a political couple yet for him. Right? Uh, but I think, so Narendra Modi became Narendra Modi that we know today after becoming four times Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh. So he learned his lessons, right? So he will also, I think, get his political... So as the, as the journey but currently continues... Currently, I don't see any. As the journey continues, who knows how things will evolve, you know, and especially after the second term of Uttar Pradesh. Um, we'll get on to another audience uh, uh, member to ask question to Shantanu. Namaste. My name is Vipul Bhargav. I have a question uh, that Hindus have been traditionally divided into various castes, and there are certain people who use this uh, to, uh, with, uh, with ulterior motives, use there for their own advantage. I've, I'm curious how Yogi Ji is intending to unite people in UP, not to fall uh, into casteism or other uh, crooks uh, or schemes that uh, opposition is currently trying to use. So that's something uh, that I was about to ask you. I, I gave you a hint of it when we were talking about uh, polarization. And, uh, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, adding on to the guest's question, you know, that's the perception even of the mainstream media in America. Everybody has given their take on Yogi Uttena, whether it is Washington Post or New York Times, and everybody has come up with their own version of Yogi Uttena. What would you say? I mean, a combination of those two questions, what the guest asked and, and you know, the foreign media, what they uh, uh, think about Yogi Adityanath. Uh, so I think first I'll answer his, uh, your, your question, Vikas Bhai. So for me, Yogi Adityanath is these four things. First, he's young. He's a young politician. And he's already being a five-time member of parliamentarian. Uh, he's electorally relevant. He understands Indian culture and history like, like, anyone, uh, like, like no one else. And... The last point is that he's electorally relevant, right? He will be only 54, 55 once he even uh, completes his second term. And I told you how engaging uh, in the parliament he is, right? What, what, what the guest has asked that caste versus uh, like how the politics, the grammar of politics before 2014, I'll, I'll give the credit more to Narendra Modi than to Yogi. Uh, before 2014, what was the grammar of politics? That you appease a certain section, you appease uh, uh, Muslims, you appease minorities, and you try to divide Hindus. You try to make sure that a Hindu will not, should not vote as a Hindu. Hindu should vote as a Jat. Hindu should vote as a Brahman. Hindu should vote as a Baniya, right? Hindu should vote as a caste identity, and Muslims should blo uh, vote and block. And that was the typical tactics 
that Congress used, Samajwadi Party used, RLD used, all this party used for over years. In 2014, people voted for the aspirations, right? And 2019, people voted for performance. So now there is a new caste, uh, Vikas Bhai, and I call this caste the beneficiary caste. Someone, a woman who got a gas stove. For us, it can be very, very, very simple thing, right? But imagine a woman who has to get uh, uh, wood every day, beat sun, beat rain, beat cold. He has, she has to get every day, and and cooking food on woods three times a day is almost equal to smoking 300, 400 cigarettes, right? Waiting for the sun to set to go to defecate and open. I remember I was working for UNICEF, and when I used to, used to come back, I used to ask my driver to dip, uh, it, it was in 2011, 2012, to, to uh, dip the lights, because woman was uh, sitting on the corner of the road defecating, and I used to, shat, used, used to feel shattered that in 2012, in 21st century, we are not able to provide toilet to a woman, and now 2.6 crore toilets are being built. Be this woman be a Jat, or a Muslim, or a Hindu, or a Brahman, she will not vote for her identity. She will vote because now she can just turn on the gas with the lighter and the gas stove there. Now she can go to a, a toilet with dignity. Now she has a roof on her head and multiple such schemes. So now we have seen 2014, after 2014 onwards, Narin Modi and someone like Yogi very meticulously have created one more caste. So that's how... Uh, the caste boundaries are getting transcended. Is a pelege am ugly samadake kissi or mehman ke pas moche apsis saval push nikili, beach beach me maybe up nesaval um thora saleta unga bunta janga e kadi kit or was saval yeke the ke um Modi ji kashi vishwanath corridor ke the ran um prachar kili up mede. उसके बाद अमित शाह जी भी पहुंचे और तमाम बड़े नेता पहुंच रहे हैं जेपी नड्डा जी अभी अस्वस्थ हैं कोविड की वजह से लेकिन तमाम बड़े नेता जो हैं उत्तर प्रदेश में पहुंच रहे हैं चुनाव प्रचार के लिए और एक पार्टी के नजरिए से भी और योगी आदित्यनाथ जी के 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 लिए भी एक प्रचार हो रहा है और माना यह जा रहा है कि यह उत्तर प्रदेश का जो चुनाव है यह फैसला करेगा 2024 के लिए भी देखिए उत्तर प्रदेश में 80 सीटें हैं, which is a huge chunk, right? उसके बाद जो अगला स्टेट है, उसमें तीन चार स्टेट आते हैं, वेस्ट बंगाल, महाराष्ट्र, तमिलनाडु, जहाँ जो 40 के आसपास हैं, मतलब 80 के बाद सीधे 40, right? After 80 is directly 40. So the number of Lok Sabha seat Uttar Pradesh has, it has a major contribution in any Lok Sabha elections, right? And अगर आप विधानसभा इलेक्शन जीतते हैं, so there is a huge inkling, huge guidance towards the Lok Sabha election. So एक तरह का pre-final तो है, that's one. BJP got back into the state after almost 15, 16 years. Rajnath Ji, 2002 में चीफ मिनिस्टर थे, उसके बाद, उसके बाद 15 साल बाद लंबा साल का लंबा साल लंबा एक एक वनवास था, तो BJP उत्तर प्रदेश में आई और उत्तर प्रदेश को खोना नहीं चाहेंगे. Number three, they have developed a leader like Yogi Adityanath, right? Because in 2017, मैं सच बताऊंगा, जब Yogi Adityanath को चीफ मिनिस्टर बनाया, तो lot of political commentators like me who were like liking Yogi and say, हाँ, like Yogi Adityanath, there were lot of other names, so uh, very meticulously, uh, and you have to give this credit to, uh, to, to the senior leadership of BJP, Narendra Modi, uh, Amit Shah, uh, uh, being together, that they have out, they have trained, they have a leadership developed, and now he's a name. He's a name that I'm doing a show in the United States of America, sitting in New, New Jersey, about UP election, which is, which is quite a thing in itself. Right? So, this is developed uh, uh, leadership, and that's why the whole machinery is going on. So, the whole machinery, uh, because UP is important, hai, because their leader is important hai, and they want to train him, they want to nurture him. Uh, I think Mary Kalsi is was it. You are going to go to the cities and I don't know when you are going to Hindustan, are you going to put it in Puttar Pradesh or not? Or are you going to be in America? No, 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 no. There are seven phases of polling. The first polling starts from West, from West UP, which starts from Delhi, then goes to the East, goes to the East, goes to the East, goes to the East, which is Modi Ji and Yogi Ji. I live in Noida in Uttar Pradesh and my polling is on February. तो मैं यहाँ से छः सात में चला जाऊँगा और मैंने इसलिए मार्च निकली और फ्लाइट लेट भी हो गई तो तीन दिन तो लेट नहीं होगी फ्लाइट और मैं वोट डालूँगा जाके बिल्कुल और मैंने वोट भी मैंने एक डेढ़ साल पहले अपना घर चेंज किया है तो मैंने अपना वोट भी चेंज करवा आपको वोट चेंज कराना पड़ता है अपने एरिया में मैंने वोट चेंज करवाया मी एंड माय वाइफ हमने कोई पोलिंग नहीं मिस करी है पिछले सात आठ दस सालों में वेलकम टू यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स मेरा नाम भार्गव गोरती है चांदनी जी काफ़ी दिन से मैं भी काफ़ी इंडियन न्यूज़ चैनल्स को फॉलो करता था टी एशिया भी वन ऑफ द मेन है क्वेश्चन एक आता है कि अखिलेश जी जैसे मजाक में कहते हैं अरे बाबा है लैपटॉप तो जलाना जानते ही नहीं 
बाबा क्या कर लेंगे और देर आर अराउंड फोर मिलियन प्रोफेशनल्स इन यूनाइट स्टेट्स और शायद ओवरसीज में भी कई सारे हमारे करोड़ों जो प्रवासी भारतीय हैं तो लोगों की एक धारणा बन गई है कि भगवा पहना तो पढ़ा लिखा नहीं है वो सिर्फ आध्यात्मिक जानता है और उसको पढ़ा लिखा है नहीं जबकि फैक्ट कोई दूसरा है तो आप कैसे देखते हैं जब उनके आप पहले भी किताब लिख चुके हैं उनके कॉलेज बता रहे मतलब वो पढ़े लिखे हैं तो बड़े वो जब हम भी देखते हैं कि योगी आदित्यनाथ बड़े लॉजिकल चलते हैं इस सब के पीछे राज क्या है और क्या इस चीज़ को बाकी जो चैनल्स हैं जो नेगेटिविटी फैलाती हैं वो भगवादारी को एक भगवा आध्यात्मिक ही दिखा रहे हैं जबकि वो दूसरे साइड से भी उनका शायद जीवन रहा है थोड़ा आप इस पर विचार दीजिए ब्यूटी ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन बहुत खूबसूरत बल्कि मैं तो ये खास कहने वाला था आप इनको बधाई देते वक्त एक्चुअली शांतनु को कि उन्होंने जो अपनी किताब का कवर रखा है उसमें उन्होंने योगी आदित्यनाथ जी को टैबलेट पकड़े हुए एक आईपैड पकड़ा हुआ है तो दैट शोज द मैन इज वेरी यू नो ओपन टू द द मॉडर्न डे डिवाइसेस अगर आप मेरी पिछली किताब का कवर देखें राइट दिस इज अफर कवर इट इज आइडेंटिटी अगर इस किताब का कवर देखें आप कॉन्शियसली कैप्टेड लाइक गवर्नेंस गवर्नेंस एंड गवर्नेंस और मैंने ये जो आई पैड दिखा है ये कोई प्रॉप की तरह पकड़ा के मैंने फोटो नहीं खिंचाया सो वेन एवर आई मीट हेम विच आई मीट ऑफन उनसे कुछ बात करते हैं तो वो एकदम से अपना आईपैड खोल के दिखाते हैं ये देखिए सो इफ यू सिट इन वन ऑफ इज मीटिंग द वर्ड्स लाइक डैशबोर्ड डेटा एनालिटिक्स क्यूआर कोड जीपीएस ट्रैक कर लो गाड़ी को ऑक्सीजन की गाड़ियों को ट्रैक कर लो डैशबोर्ड में देख लो दैट्स वेरी कॉमन इन इज वोकैप दरी अब हमने एक इमेज बना लिया जैसे हमारे वक्ता ने पूछा कि भाई ये तो पंडित जी हैं इनको तो पूजा करनी आती है आरती करनी आती है एंड दैट्स ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट एंड सी उनकी एजुकेशन क्या है उन्होंने बी एस सी मैथमेटिक्स साइंस पढ़ा है एम एस सी का भी फर्स्ट ईयर किया है ही इज़ अ मैथ स्टूडेंट वेरी वेरी लॉजिकल वेरी टैक्स हैवी जितना एक होना चाहिए मतलब ऐसा नहीं कि वो सॉफ्टवेयर कोई जावा की कोडिंग करके सॉफ्टवेयर लिख देंगे ही इज़ नॉट इवन रिक्वायर्ड टू डू दैट बट ये सेंस कि करना क्या है कहाँ पर मतलब आपको यू पी में इतनी ऐप्स हैं यू पी में गन्ना गन्ना का जो भुगतान होता है वो एक ऐप के थ्रू पर्ची मिलती है जो पहले आपको हाथ से मिलती थी और पर्ची खो जाती थी और उस ऐप के कितने डाउनलोड कैन यू इमेजन फोर्टी फाइव लैक डाउनलोड्स ऑफ गॉड और ये किसने डाउनलोड करे होंगे मैंने तो डाउनलोड करा नहीं किसानों ने डाउनलोड करें फोर्टी फाइव उसकी गूगल में रेटिंग है ऐप की फोर पॉइंट टू और फोर पॉइंट थ्री राइट सो ही इज़ वेरी एजुकेटेड अखिलेश बोलने की कोशिश करते हैं बहुत बार कि बाबा को तो लैपटॉप चलाना नहीं आता जस्ट टू पुट हम डाउन बट आई थिंक मेरे ख्याल से बहुत छोटा बुरानी पॉइंट है जो अर्न करना चाहते हैं वो ही इज़ वेरी टैक्स हैवी टू द टू द लेवल ही इज़ रिक्वायर्ड ही इज़ वेरी मैनेजमेंट टाइप वेरी मॉनिटरिंग फोकस्ड एंड एज आई टोल्ड द की वर्ड्स इन इज मीटिंग्स आर अगर आप उनकी किसी मीटिंग में बैठेंगे तो आपको लगेगा आप किसी मैनेजमेंट की मीटिंग में बैठे आपको एग्जाम्पल दूंगा मुझे कुछ मीटिंग्स में बैठने का मौका मिला था सो आई नॉट गिव एनी क्लासीफाइड इन्फॉर्मेशन बट एक जगह बात हुई स्टार्टिंग की मीटिंग थी 2017 हज़ार सत्रह अठारह की एयरपोर्ट्स यूपी में ज़्यादा होने चाहिए यूपी हैज़ हार्डली टू फंक्शनिंग एयरपोर्ट बट टाइमली नीड लखनऊ नाउ वी हैव मेनी नाउ वी हैव मेनी आई थिंक द बिग वन एंड ग्रेटर नोएडा इज कमिंग बिग वन दैल बी आई थिंक एशियाज बिगेस्ट एंड वर्ल्ड फोर्थ लार्जेस्ट एयरपोर्ट अयोध्या में आ रहा है कुशीनगर का हो गया बाकी जगह की फ्लाइट चेंज बढ़ गई पहले हमारे पास ट्वेंटी फाइव रूट्स थे हमारे पास सेवेंटी फाइव रूट्स विद इन फाइव ईयर्स राइट तो बात हो रही थी कि किसी मिनिस्टर ने कहा कि हमें और एयरपोर्ट्स चाहिए राइट एंड फिर किसी ऑफिसर ने कुछ कहा फॉर द नेक्स्ट सिक्स सेवन मिनट्स ही वॉज गिविंग अ डाउनलोड एन एयरपोर्ट्स ही वॉज सेंग बोइंग के लिए कितना बड़ा टर्मैक चाहिए ए टी एस कंट्रोल क्या होता है और हमें कितना समय लगता है एक एयरपोर्ट बनाने में हम छोटे एयरक्राफ्ट यूज़ कर सकते हैं क्या लिफ्टिंग क्या है फ्यूल एंड द ऑफिस लाइक ये पंडित जी को ये सब कैसे पता है देन यू रिलाइज वन ही वज इन पार्लियामेंटेरियन ही वज इन एविएशन कमेटी राइट ही ट्रेवल विद विद लॉर्ड ऑफ एविएशन एक्सपर्ट एंड सिमिलरली हीज एक्सपर्ट इज इन हेल्थ एम्स के एक्स डायरेक्टर ने कहा कि जब मैं इनसे जापानीज इंसेफलाइटिस के बात बारे में बात करता हूँ ही नोज मोर देन मी जे एम्स के डायरेक्टर बोल रहे हैं बात राइट सो ही इज़ अ वेरी सीजन पॉलिटिशियन दैट वे और मेरे ख्याल से यही मैं मैसेज देना चाहता हूँ कि ही इज़ अ वेरी सीजन पॉलिटिशियन ही अंडरस्टैंड इज गवर्नेंस एंड ही इज़ वेरी एजुकेटेड ये मैंने एक आर्टिकल भी लिखा था ऑफ इंडिया में कि पूजा की थाली इन वन हैंड एंड आई पैड इन अनदर योगी एज शोन गवर्नेंस टू दर्ल्ड अरे वाह and for that matter when you took the name of aims or aims of uh, lucknow may be hai gorakhpur gorakhpur mein bhi hai um you know you aapne kisanon ka zikr kiya tha aur wo ek bahut hi aham mudda hai in is chunav mein khaas taur par you know farmers locker ko lekar ke jo jaddo jad hui thi we going to take a quick short break over here on the other side of the break uh, we'll talk to
the present government is facing um, and uh, is it a win-win or uh, how tough it is for them uh, when taking the vote of uh, farmers in confidence. We'll talk about that on the other side of the break. Stay tuned and keep watching Focus Live Season 4. Shantanu, once again, welcome to Focus Live Season 4. A great uh, conversation, um, you know, great insight from you. But, um, you know, last where we, uh, you know, we were talking about farmers, um, and I want to take that subject forward. As a matter of fact, in this book, you have a chapter on farmers as well. Um, and I want to get your reaction on, do you think Yogi Adityanath will get support from farmers? See, I think a couple of things. When... I go to vote, right? In, in, in maths, we used to study uh, multivariable equation or two variable equations. So I think in my mind, mind there's a multivariable equation. So I think on various variables before vote. So I not only vote as a uh, farmer, I vote as a jat sometime, a farmer and jat, farmer and jat and woman, farmer and jat and a Hindu, farmer and jat and a beneficiary, right? All of that. But just coming to farmers also. And if we go to the debate of farm laws, there'll be a longish debate. I just tell you two, three things that uh, Yogi government has done, and they'll give you a, a symbol. First of all, in the Western UP, where the, the, there were a lot of farm ag agitation, frankly speaking, the laws were not so relevant anyways. You know why? Western UP is a ganna belt, is a sugarcane belt. And sugarcane belt, there is no mandi for sugarcane belt. Sugarcane, sugar we don't buy it. Sugar cane is bought in China, so it doesn't have a retail purchase. And with China, it was a set-up for a long time. If you don't go to the mandi, it was about to upgrade the mandi system, to upgrade the choice, it wasn't relevant to the choice. But some people have tried to make a big moment to show it. What happened with the farmers? We heard this term, MSP. What is it? Minimum support price. What is it? MSP. What is it? What is it? Minimum support price. Akhilesh Shadav's last year, in 2016-17, I have declared that I have declared that I have to purchase the MSP, right? Akhilesh Shadav's last year, in 2016-17, his government bought 7 lakh metric ton of wheat. Yogi government in the last year, 2021, bought 56 lakh metric ton of wheat. 756, it's not 1 and a half to 2 times is 7, 8 times, right? Correct. MSP, DBT, direct benefit transfer, to the uh, bank accounts of 12 lakh farmers, mm. right? Similarly with paddy also, right? Now coming to ganna, coming to sugar cane. Sugar cane, the biggest problem is that you don't have to pay for it. You get ganna parchi, and that ganna parchi means that you give a credit. It was 2-3 years ago, it didn't get money. And who gives this money? It doesn't give the government money. It doesn't give the government money. It doesn't give the chini. But government is just a mediator. So government can only push a, a, a private chini mill ki kisano ko paisa do. So it's a little tricky situation. Main party nahi usme. So what Yogi government did, very smart thing. They made an escrow account with every chini mill. Escrow, escrow account hota hai, jis, jiska ek particular um, usage hota yeah, hai. Yeah, yeah. Uske saal aap kuch aur nahi kar sakte. It's the two parties which can handle it. Aur usme do kaun party hai? Agar maa aap chini mill hai, to aap ek party honge. Aur maa us jile ka, us district ka, jahaan pe wo chini mill hai, uska ganna dhikari honga. Ham dono se escrow mein honge. Ham dono ke sign ke bina, aap paise nahi nikal sakte. Pahle kya kardate the? Chini mill ko paise aate the, sugar seal se, aur wo kahin aur siphon kardate the, kisan ko nahi pay kardate the. Ab 85% of any money they get, should go, has to go in escrow account, jis se kisano ka payment honne laga hai. Mayawati's whole tenure was 50,000 crore payment. Akhilesh's whole tenure was 95,000,000,000 crore. No, not 95,000,000,000 crore payment. 95,000,000 crore payment. So, 50,000 crore, 95,000 crore, and in Yogi's 5 years, 1.5 million crore payment. The farmers are happy, be it the wheat purchase, be it the paddy purchase, or be it the bhuktan for the ganna. The rest of the TV has a lot of news value, but there is no electoral value in it. Well, I mean, again, as you said, if you get into the specifics of farmer's law, it can, it can take hours again. Uh, but but um, it will be interesting to see that how he garners uh, the vote uh, from farmers in the upcoming election. Of course, there are a few days in between. If there are any major twists and turns, who knows how things pan out. Um, we'll take another question from our uh, uh, audience. Uh, please go ahead, sir. Introduce yourself and ask the question to Shantanu. Shantanuji, uh, my name is Santosh. Uh, I, am, uh, I was raised in Bangalore, but I'm originally from Kerala. 
One of the things about uh, Indian politics is that it, it's usually the narratives is around emotions. Thank you very much for bringing all that data and statistics into the political uh, arena, right? So the one question that I wanted to ask you is, Gorakhpur has a history of working in the political arena, right? Uh, Gorakhpur as a mutt, uh, as a mutt, has a history of working in the political arena. Uh, we have uh, Swami Paripurnanda now uh, from AP. So do you have any information on other mutts like Gorapur mutts where there is a political impetus? And do you see monks and sannyasis stepping into the uh, political arena in India? When I was launching the first book, I asked that why do you have to come to the government in sannyasi? And my answer was that when an actor comes to politics, we don't have a problem. If there is a sportsman politics, we don't have a problem. If there is a gangster politics, we don't have a problem. If there is a small politics, we don't have a problem. If there is a son or a son, we don't have a problem. All of a sudden, we say, oh my god, why, why? Why, 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 their question is that politics is a lever for people to serve people. Right? That's one. But the question being asked is, what are the other sannyasis seeing? Will it motivate others? We have seen that there are some kings who have been given the rishi's power. We have said that the raj rishi was given the rishi. We have been given the advisors, whether they are the dashrat or ramji advisor rishi vashishtu, or chandrugut morra advisor shanak. So, we don't have to play rishi in governance and politics. And this tradition is growing up. But yes, what is it? 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 He is just doing whatever he is doing for the people of Uttar Pradesh, people of India. और संत हैं जैसे आपने कहा परिपूर्ण नंजी हैं जो अब तेलंगाना एरिया में एक्टिव हैं और मैं उनको किताब देने भी गया था मैं उनसे मिला था हैदराबाद में तीन साल पहले मैंने उनको ये पुस्तक भेंट भी करी थी और हमारी काफी लंबी चर्चा हुई थी वो भी एक टीवी चैनल भी चलाते हैं तो वो मुझे एक दिखते हैं जो शायद political jump ले सकते हैं लेकिन हाँ ऐसा कोई और बड़ा नाम मुझे नहीं दिखता there are a lot of people who are influencing politics, but who will be an actor in politics, who will be a political actor, I don't see anyone else now. Yogi Ji is also a devotee of Bhagavan Ram, he has done a lot of things for the Ram Mandir. And I think that you, who is in America, like in America, when you came to the Ramayana, when you came to the Ramayana, you were also in the U.P. and you came to the Ramayana, you were in the U.P. and you were in the U.P. and you were in the U.P. and you were in the U.P. प्रवासी भारतीयों को को क्या कहना चाहेंगे उनकी क्या भूमिका हो सकती है इस उत्तर प्रदेश के चुनावों में ये आपने भगवान श्री नाम का नाम लिया और मैं खुद रामायणा स्कूल चलाता हूं करीब मैं 2000 बच्चों को अमेरिका के ऑनलाइन कोरोना के टाइम में रामायण फाइव डेज लीडरशिप लेसन्स करवा चुका हूं एक एक गाना इंडिया में बहुत चल रहा है एक कन्हैया मित्तल हैं जो जागरण करते हैं उनका गाना है जिन्होंने योगी के योगी जी के सामने भी एक चैनल में गाया और उस गाने की लाइन है जो राम को लाए हैं उनको लाएंगे राइट यूपी में फिर से भगवा फहराएंगे सो राम इज़ बिकम द सेंटर ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स उत्तर प्रदेश राम की नगरी है कृष्ण की नगरी है शिवा की नगरी है और योगी आदित्यनाथ ने उसको नर्चर किया है दो बहुत अच्छे कॉन्सिडेंस हैं नरेंद्र मोदी ने लाल कृष्ण अडवाणी की जो राम यात्रा हुई थी जो अयोध्या की यात्रा हुई थी उसको लीड किया था मतलब उसका सारा मैनेजमेंट किया था कहाँ जाएगी किस रूट से जाएगी और योगी आदित्यनाथ के गुरु राम मंदिर की हर कमेटी के हेड थे और दो वो प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैं वो चीफ मिनिस्टर हैं और अब राम मंदिर बन रहा है दोनों पूजा कर रहे हैं और उस दिन इतनी संज्ञाएं आएंगी तो राम हनुमान हैं तो राम भरत हैं तो राम लक्ष्मण हैं तो दैट्स अ डिवाइन कॉन्सिडेंस की जो लोगों के दोनों के गुरु लाल कृष्ण अडवाणी और अवैधनाथ जिन्होंने राम मंदिर मूवमेंट में काम करा वो दोनों हेल्म ऑफ गवर्नेंस हैं एक सी एम एक पी है मैं ये मैसेज ये लेके आया हूँ उत्तर प्रदेश से कि उत्तर प्रदेश और जो मेरी अगर टैग लाइन पढ़ेंगे जो टैग लाइन है अगर आप मेरी किताब के हेडिंग के नीचे पढ़ें तो हेडिंग है द मंक हू ट्रांसफॉर्म उत्तर प्रदेश और तो उसका सब टाइटल है हाउ योगी आदित्यनाथ चेन यूपी वाला भैया अब्यूज टू अ बैच ऑफ ऑनर यूपी वाला भैया गाली की तरह अरे यार तुम भैया हटो तो यूपी के भैया आप मुंबई में जाते हैं बैंगलोर में जाते हैं तो आपको यूपी वाला भैया एक एक डिग्रेड करके बोला जाता है आप उस उस यूपी से आए हैं जहाँ पे एग्जामों में चीटिंग होती है जहाँ पे रेप बलात्कार होते हैं जहाँ पे सड़कें टूटी हुई हैं जहाँ बिजली नहीं आती अगर कुछ एक इंस्पिरेशन यूपी से मिलती है तो बॉलीवुड की गैंगस्टर मूवीज को मिलती है अदरवाइज दर इज नो इंस्पिरेशन कमिंग आउट ऑफ यूपी बट टुडे यूपी इज बिंग टॉक्ट अबाउट इज द सेकंड हाईएस्ट जीएसडीपी इन द कंट्री यूपी ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस नंबर दो पे है मतलब वो बड़े बड़े इंडस्ट्रियलाइज स्टेट गुजरात तमिलनाडु सबको पीछे छोड़ चुका है uh, uh, एक, एक uh, 
पुलिस की वो ही अवार्ड्स कि पुलिस कितनी किसकी रिस्पॉन्सिव है यूपी के हम थर्ड इन इन अवार्ड इन इंटरनेशनल अवार्ड और जो अखिलेश के टाइम में तीस या बत्तीस मिनट पर पुलिस एवरेज पहुँचती थी वो आठ या नौ मिनट में पहुँचती है सो देर मल्टीपल काउंट्स देर मल्टीपल काउंट जहाँ यूपी वाला भैया अब एक गाली नहीं है अब वो सम्मान का विषय है और यही कैसे वो सम्मान का विषय बन गया है पिछले पाँच साल में उसी मैसेज को लेके मैंने तेरह सिटीज़ में जा रहा हूँ विकल्प भाई जी जी चलिए आपकी यात्रा आनंद में मंगल रहे उसके लिए बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं और आने वाले चुनावों के लिए भी भारतीय जनता पार्टी को योगी आदित्यनाथ जी को उनकी पूरी टीम को मिनिस्टर्स की टीम को बहुत सारी शुभकामनाएं आपने हमसे बातचीत की समय निकाला बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक यू धन्यवाद धन्यवाद विकल्प भाई थैंक यू आई रियली रियली एंजॉय इट Thank you all thank you all again for uh, being part of Focus Live season 4 appreciate your participation thank you all